So you're looking for the best construction workwear trousers where well, you come to the right place because today we're talking about the Timberland Morphix utility trousers. So let's get straight into the review. So this video is a review of the Timberland Pro Morphix Utility Work Trousers. We'll start this video off by giving an overview of the trousers, like a few features that are uh, put into these trousers, and then we're gonna go on to my personal opinions, some pros, some cons, and then we'll move on to a conclusion or an overall review of the trousers and uh, yeah, give my final opinion. I'd like to preface this video by saying Timberland Pro did send me these trousers. Um, however, they have not asked me to give any biased opinions, all the opinions in this video are my own opinions. I have not been paid by Timberland Pro, I've only just been sent these for review. Um, so hopefully this will give you an unbiased opinion, an unbiased video of what I personally think of the Timberland Pro trousers. Okay, so we'll start off by saying I have been wearing these a hell of a lot in the past three months. I've been putting them through their paces. I have been doing various different jobs wearing these trousers to try and get an idea of who these would be perfectly suited for. Um, so what we'll do is we'll just start off by going through some of the features and go from there. I'm going to be referring to my phone a few times because I've got all the notes written down here. So these trousers are made from 90% polyester and 10% Timberland Pro Flex technology, which is a four-way stretch material that they've designed to give an added bit of stretch to it. There are two zip-off holster pockets with multifunctional usage and reflective trim. So if there is any light shining on your site and you uh, need to be seen, high vis, that kind of thing, this picks up for that perfectly. There are internal knee pad pockets to accommodate Timberland Pro anti-fatigue inserts. So you got your, your knee pads basically. A stretchy, comfortable waistband, which I can completely account to. That is very comfortable. There are multiple functional pockets. High visibility piping, as I spoke about earlier on some of the edges of the pockets. There's a ruler pocket and adjustable hammer loop double stitched for durability. It's also called Dura Fabric Reinforced Hem Guards. So that was a quick overview of some of the features of these trousers, but let's go into a little bit more detail. These are the detachable side pockets, side pockets, side flaps, as you'd call it. There are one on each side of the trousers and they are attached by both poppers and also a zip. Now you can have these on and off as and how you see fit. I didn't use these terribly often because I found that they got in the way, but I'm a bricklayer. For those of you who are new to the channel, I'm a bricklayer and a bricklayer by trade. I do a few other different jobs as well, but I would say these side pockets are probably much more suited for a plumber, an electrician, a painter and decorator or something like that. I find them get, they, they got in the way a bit too much because I sometimes wear a utility belt, which has got my hammer loop and a few other bits and pieces on it. So I find that these just got in the way. So I, the first time I wore them, I wore them for one day and I thought, no, that, that's not my cup of tea. So I just took them off. But that's the good thing about it is you can take them off. You can have one on one side, you can have both on, or you can have none on at all. So that is a nice touch. So what we'll do is we'll leave them to the side. I'll, well, actually, no, I'll show you exactly what these are up close. So you have one large main pocket. Um, I could also see these being extremely useful for roofers because you put your nails in there and whatever. I could have actually have done with these about six months ago. You have a small loop so that you can hang sort of perhaps a, a knife off there. And obviously you have three additional pockets, which I would probably presume would fit in nicely. You've got your pencil, I'd say a pencil, maybe a, a, a spanner or or a set of pliers or screwdriver or something like that, or paint brushes. That's what I'm saying. It's probably good for plumbers, electricians, painters. And again, that large pouch is probably good for, for roofers. So it's starting off by saying these are a very versatile pair of trousers that are multi-trade, that most trades can use. And once you have taken off those pockets, you can pop down these little poppers that would keep the little zipper away. Now, as we're talking about the zippers, I'll go and say that these are very heavy duty zippers. You have the two side pocket, the two front pockets that are, yeah, the two front slash side pockets have got these zips on it. Um, if we flip these around, as we're talking about the pockets, on the back pockets, they are Velcro, but you don't have those zippers on the back. Now, I was in two minds about these back pockets, purely because I often wear jeans. A lot of the time I wear jeans or um, like chino style trousers. Um, for reasons I'll go into a little bit later on. Well, actually, no, I, I, because I like, hang, I like hanging my, my tape measure off my pocket and I just like, I don't like having side pockets on my knees because walking around scaffolding, I find that you, you catch 
those kinds of trousers on the scaffolding and you end up ripping them, which is why I generally I wear skinny jeans or like I say, a lot slimmer styled trousers. However, I will come back to the back pockets, bear with me, I'm on a bit of a tangent here. These, I don't find them too baggy, which is, I thought they would be too baggy. I thought, be like, no, these, these aren't for me because they're, they're too baggy. If I walk around scaffolding, etc., etc., I catch them and snag them. I didn't snag them once. Um, I did walk around scaffolding a little bit before it got taken down on this house build. Link below if you want to see this house build. Um, the playlist down below. But yeah, I didn't find them too big. I found them just, just the right. They're probably at the top end of bagginess. So I wouldn't, these are probably the baggiest trousers that I would wear. But yeah, they, they gave enough room and enough movement, which is perfect. Okay, so back to these back pockets I was talking about. So we've got the, the Velcro on them. I didn't particularly like them because I, I, don't, I don't like covered up pockets. I don't like pockets where you have to open them, like whether it be with a zipper or, or, with, a, or with Velcro. I just don't like it because if you're getting something like, I, I often have my pocket knife in my back, my back pocket and it's just in there, nice and easy to go in, go out, get it, job done. But with these, I find that I couldn't put them in the back pocket as comfortably because you got that flap on the top. And also with the side, as I was saying earlier, I like to have my tape measure hooked on my pocket. With these trousers, I can't do that because obviously the zip and it is at a completely different angle. It is vertical down the trousers, whereas with my jeans, it's sort of horizontal. Those are the two things that I wasn't too keen about with the, with the trousers, with the pockets, sorry. Also in cold weather, if you're not wearing gloves, everyone knows, especially you brickies out there, or anyone who works outside in the cold river, your hands get really cold. And I find that if you put your hands in these pockets to get out your tape measure, your fags, wh whatever it is you've got in there, just the, the ruggedness of these zips, I find it just catches on your hand and it just doesn't feel that nice. I found I didn't use the side pockets pretty much, or the back pockets at, at all really. I very, I think I only put my wallet in the back pocket and that was it. That's one good thing about these, having the flap over them with the, with the elastic. Um, sorry, not elastic, with the Velcro, because you can put your, your wallet in the back pocket, cover it over, and no one can half inch it out of your pocket. Pinch it, if you're uh, not into cottony rhyming slang. Okay, so moving a little bit further down the trousers, we have got one pocket on one side. Now, this pocket consists of, again, more Velcro, and from what I can gather, there, there is a, a little hole in there, which I would assume that is for something to do with your phone, like maybe headphones or something like that, but I don't understand why they would put it on the side pocket, I would have put it on the back pocket or one of the pockets, the, the flaps that you can take on and off. There is a small pocket inside, which I would assume is for your phone. Let's see for size, if my phone fits in it. My phone is quite a large phone, a Note 9, and it is snug, but it fits in there, but you can't put the top down. So if you have a larger phone like I do, then that is redundant. I didn't use that at all for my phone whatsoever. In, that, in actual fact, I didn't use this side pocket at all. Like I said, I like jeans, I don't generally use side pockets but it is there if that is your cup of tea so yeah there's that little hole in there which i'm assuming is for headphones but like i said i'm not 100 sure there's also this side pocket here which is designed for a ruler so you can have your um your scale rule in there which fits in perfectly i have tested this out um and it, yeah it fits in nicely your mobility isn't impaired by having this in there so that is that it's really good the one thing that i used it mostly for was for my boat level your boat level fits in there absolutely perfectly. That is something that I, I did use quite a lot. I used, I was wearing these trousers predominantly when I was building a garden wall. That video is coming, so if you would like to see a tutorial on how to build a garden wall, then make sure you are subscribed and turn on that notification bell so you do not miss it when I upload that video. So that goes in there perfectly like that. You can also fit, my, well, any tool you really want in there. It's sort of open, like for example, this old wood chisel I got, that could fit in there perfectly. And you sort of wander around and have that in there and it's just ideal. Okay, so moving on to the other leg, the opposite leg, so the left-hand leg. There is no pocket on this side. There's no knee pocket, as I like to call it. But you do have an adjustable hammer loop, which again, came in extremely useful. The good thing about it is, is you can adjust it. So if you just have, your regular size hammer you can fit in open that popper and it's a double sized so whether you have a larger handled hammer that would fit in there or perhaps you wanted that hammer to hang a little bit lower on your leg so it doesn't bash the side of your leg but saying that i didn't find i did use this i do have a hammer loop which i'd attach to my belt but i thought i'd leave that at home and i would try try it out with just using this and it works it works 
perfectly. It doesn't sit quite as high on your hip, which is not ideal, but if you are putting your hammer on your side constantly, you would have a, you would have a hammer loop for your belt. Whereas in this case, this is sort of, a, it's there if you need it. Like if you're up a ladder and you're like, ah, oh, I ain't got my hammer loop on me. You just pop your hammer in there, climb up the ladder, do what you gotta do, come back down and it, it's ideal. I, I think hammer loops are a very good idea on trousers. I really do like them because like I said, it's there. You don't have to worry about putting a hammer loop on your belt. It's there all the time, job done. Thank you very much. Okay, and so we'll move down to this, the knee area where the knee pads are. Well, I say knee pads, like the knee pads come separately. Um, I could have washed these before I did this review, but I didn't just to show you that I have been using them extensively to show the wear or the lack thereof. There's no wear on these, but they are used. So yeah, you open them up. You could use them as a pocket, but I, would, I wouldn't advise it because it's obviously your knee. If you leave a nail in there, you go to, you kneel down, that nail goes straight into your knee, you're gonna be in a bit of bother. Perfectly sized. And the good thing that I think about this is to start with, I wasn't so keen on having these, but I thought I'd test it out because recently I've been doing some drainage and I've been kneeling down a lot. Even if you don't have the knee pads, like the additional inserts that go in there, even if you don't have those, because you've got this extra bit of cloth on the front, rather than just the trousers, you've got this extra, the pocket, like the outside, you have that extra bit of stability anyway, and also the top of the pocket, depending on where your knee fits in these trousers, you have additional comfort for your knee. So an, an additional bit of padding there. So for, for what I do, I don't kneel down anywhere near enough as say for a plumber or an electrician would. So these would be ideal again for a plumber or an electrician, or anyone who kneels down really. But even if you don't spend time kneeling down, looking at pipes, looking at plugs, things like that, these are very handy because you've got that extra bit of protection, protection on the knee, which I found very useful for, like I said, kneeling down, doing a bit of drainage. As we move down, we go down to the bottom of the trousers. They have been double lined at the bottom. So if you're walking long, if you get these a little bit long, if you like them a little bit long, you scuff, if you scuff the back of the trousers, they're not gonna wear away anywhere near as quick. Obviously they wrap around your boot very nicely. And yeah, double, double strength for the bottom. I'm, I'm not gonna say no to a bit of double strength, so it's, it's looking ideal. Going back to the top of the trousers, we have double size belt loops. So if you do have the larger size belt, I generally have a belt loop that's probably half the size of these, but if you can look here, you do have the largest style belt loop, but also you have two smaller style belt loops. So there, there's sort of three different sizes there that you can pick from. Obviously a large Timbaland logo on the back, which is very nice. I do like the orange, the orange color and the black go very well together. I spoke earlier about how the comfort waistband is and that, that is extremely comfortable. It's sort of like, I can't really show this on camera, but it's sort of almost, it's not double, double, double line, but there is that extra little bit of padding in there that it's not really extra padding, but it just, it just feels really nice. So that is very welcomed. When it comes to sizing, these are sized beautifully. I'm a 32 waist and a 30 leg. Yes, I know before you all start commenting, I have short little legs, but these I ordered exactly what I am, 32 waist, 30 leg, and they came in and they were absolutely perfectly fitting. Well, I say I ordered 32 leg, it's 32 waist, short leg. I think the short is between 29 and 31. I have to double check that. In fact, I'll probably put a sizing chart on the screen now so you can have a look. The sizing fit absolutely perfectly. The wear, the stretch, that 10% that stretch flex that they have in there is perfect. I can't really show on camera how, how stretchy these are. There's that little bit of flex. They're not like skinny jeans, like the skinny jeans I'm wearing now, you can pull them around all over the place. They're really stretchy, but these, they have just the right amount of stretch in them. These also have what is called rain repel technology. So it's like uh, an, an outer layer I don't know if it's sprayed on or how it's applied, but it, there's an outer layer called rain repel technology. And I did manage to test this out while I was wearing them, while I was building that garden wall. I'd actually finished the job and I was just tidying up and it was it just absolutely dumped it down. I got absolutely stuck right in the middle of the rain. So I had to cover up all my brickwork um, and I was wearing these trousers. I was running around, for, I was in the, in the torrential downpour for a good, a good 10 minutes, a good 10, 15 minutes, my hoodie that I was wearing was absolutely drenched. I had my hood up, the hood was drenched, my shoulders were drenched, and all the way down to the middle of my back. I don't actually have any video to show this, but I got soaked, and my trousers, generally when I wear jeans, I've been caught in the rain plenty of times wearing jeans, um, and generally you can feel that there's that damp feeling down your legs, obviously because you, your head and your, your top part of your body's gonna take most of the brunt of the rain, but if it's coming in heavy like it was, my legs got a fair old, a fair old bit. You could feel down the trousers that they were, that they were damp, but 
they were nowhere near as wet as my jumper. So that rain repel technology, whatever they've sprayed on this, whether it be like a bit of silicone or, or some sort of pl um, plasticky kind of spray on or whatever they've treated this stuff with, it works. That rain repel technology, I did not have wet or damp legs. They did not feel damp whatsoever. And I was very impressed with how with how well that worked. But yeah, hard wearing, very, very nice trousers. Um, pricing wise, I will leave a link down below to Timberland Pro uh, website, both UK, US, and if there is an Australian one, I'll leave an Australian one down there as well. So you guys can go check out Timberland Pro. I'll also leave a link down below to their Instagram. Go give them a follow, shout them out, let them know that I sent you over there. And there we go. That is the Timberland Pro Morphix Utility Work Trousers. Out of 10, what would I give them? I'd give them a pretty damn solid seven and a half. Eight, seven and a half, eight out of 10, I'd call them. They are very worth the, worth, worth the money. They are a, a little bit on the pricey side. I think they're 120 pounds. I'm not sure what that is in dollars. I'll put it on the screen, 120 pounds. But these, I'm, I'm a firm believer in, you get what you pay for. You could, you could pay 20 quid for a pair of trousers. Um, I have, in fact, bought a pair of trousers before by a different brand. I'm not gonna name that brand. Uh, for 20 quid and they were rubbish. I sent them back straight, I just put them on and they were just dreadful. So um, I'm not gonna go into that. Maybe I'll do a review on them later down the line, but I don't really want to because the, the whole idea of these videos is I wanna tell you what the best trousers are, not what the worst ones are. But saying that, the worst one's probably, probably not a bad idea. If you have enjoyed this video, please do leave a like down below. Subscribe so you don't miss out any of my Brick Lane tutorial videos or any of the house build videos. If you would like to learn how to lay bricks, then click this playlist here. If you'd like to see the vlogs of me building this three bedroom house that we are talking in now, click this playlist here. That being said, I'll see you all in the next episode. And I'll see you then. Bye.